Okay. Good evening. Good day. Super, super excited. My name is Mayo Wa Owolabi. How are you doing today? I'm excited. A new week, a new plan, a new day. And um, I want to share this for us to understand how this works, to be able to maximize your profit in the financial market in 2021. And that's the purpose of this. So um, I want you guys to stay tuned because it's going to be a great time together today. Uh, if you can hear me on any of the social media, just type in 555. Just type in 555 if you can hear me. So I want to be sure you guys can hear me. Just type in five on the chat box. Okay, guys, don't forget if you're new, you want to make sure you're on my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure you click on the like button and the follow button so that you can be sure whenever I come online, you will definitely get to get aware and um, you can jump on the call, okay? So what I just want to do is to share with us how we can maximize our profit. On Friday, I took this particular trade on GBP NZD and um, it's currently uh, over 24% uh, reward. So that means that you can, you are risking 1% to make 24% and it's still running. Uh, a lot of time people just think that trading Forex is not about using strategy, but you need to know that there is more to it. The best you can do to trade and maximize your trading experience is to make sure you are trading risk reward. Make sure you are trading risk reward. So in 2021, either you are new, either you are old in the, in the forex space, work on your risk reward, your risk management. What am I risking? What am I gaining? So I want to take GBP NZD as a case study for us. And um, as an institution trader, one of the things I go after number one is what uh, what time frame what time frame is in action, okay? What time frame is activated is in control. So you also I also always ask myself what time frame is in control. The number two thing I always ask myself before I put in my money into any trade is that where are, where what is where is the location okay so number one i talk about what time frame is in control number two what is the location and number three i want to go in on a sniper entry using either um uh wyckoff theory or i will i use uh what is called level remover which is engulfing remover and i love that too i love that too. so Basically, that is how I approach the market. And that is how I've been able to do a lot for myself playing in the financial market. So let's do this together. Uh, I'll start from weekly where I got the analysis. I start from weekly where I got the analysis. So if you guys can hear me, please type in five on the chat box. Then we will sure you can hear me. Okay. And uh, make sure you're dropping your questions if you do have any question. Okay. I will be here for some time to answer that question. So this is a weekly chart. And one of the secret of traders is that they always go after trend, okay? So we have the first move here, okay? And the first move did a retracement back to the origin. The origin is the beginning of the trend, okay? And you have your drop, you have your base, and you have your rally. So the market went up the same way. Make sure you're sharing, click on the share button, make sure you are sharing make sure you are sharing share 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 okay so the market moved here again and it went up okay now when it went up the question again is where is the origin for example this is not an origin this is continuation okay this is not an origin this is continuation i want to be able to identify a location which is the lowest part where is the origin where the trend started from 
And when, the, when you identify where the trend starts from, the next point of view is that you want to wait patiently for the market to come into the what the into the demand level. So currently on the weekly time frame, this is the demand level. So now I know that the weekly demand is in control. Remember I said, always ask yourself what level is in control. The level in control right now is weekly demand. So from there, I'm gonna pick my chart, then I narrow it down to lower time frame, which is four hours. So I will not enter on weekly time frame because if you enter on weekly time frame and you're risking um, 395 pips, and you're risking uh, 395 pips, it's going to take a lot for you from your account and you don't want to do that. So Henry John Paul is saying, why, sir, why didn't you upload on YouTube? He's definitely going to go on YouTube. But I want to feed some of my... Um, Facebook followers that have been asking questions and I want to, over time, they will know that a lot of materials are on YouTube for them free. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Henry Paul, okay? And Mr. Henry John Paul. So I don't want to risk this. This is too much as an investor. You know, I tell you, if you've been watching my YouTube trainings, I tell you, always ask yourself, what are you risking? Until you are sincere with yourself as an investor, you're not doing the right thing. So now coming to four hours, I've been able to narrow down my risk reward. And here we go right now to four hours. So right now I've been able to re re reduce my risk from about 400 pips. I've re reduced it to 135 pips. So 135 pips is still very, very what much. So from there, I'll go to 30 pips. So I now know that I have a what? A week, a four hours level in a weekly demand zone, okay? So four hours level in a weekly demand zone. So last week we had this cluster and we had our what? Our Wyckoff theory here. We have our PS, from PS we have our what? Our cell ceiling, our AR, we have our cell trust. Cell trust give us sign of strength and sign of strength give us spring, okay? So this spring means that this is where I'm expecting the market to bounce. And whenever it is bouncing, it should bounce and break structure, okay? So when that happens, I have my first level of entry at this level, perfect. So my first entry will be at this level. which is here, the red spot. So now I do also want to trade and risk 42 pips. So what do I do? I'll make sure the market comes into this place and I'll go to where? I'll go to one minute. So this is how I trade and I can risk five pips to make 200 pips, 1,000 pips, 500 pips, as the case may be, okay? So let's go a bit busy and deeper into this. So I'm on one minute time frame right now, and I've been able to narrow down identifying the levels I want to trade. So currently, this is the level I want to trade. Okay. Now, what made me to pick this level? The same thing. If I'm using white cup theory or I'm using level remover, okay. You have your PS level after the PS preliminary support, the preliminary support level. Next thing I have is I have the what? The buy, uh, sell ceiling. The sell ceiling produced AR and AR produced um, ST, which is um, sell trust. And the sell trust again produced sign of strength. And the sign of strength produced the spring. What is happening on one minute had happened on four hours. Okay, so I've been able to narrow that. So this will be what I'm dealing with. And I told you guys, whenever it, it comes to the spring level, the spring level will break some other flows that has been coming before. So look at this place now. The market went through, removed this broke 
through this removal. Another thing the market did, the market went through this structure. The third thing the market broke through here. So I have removal here, removal here, removal here. So that approved this level as a spring. Okay, so now I know this is a spring. So what do I do next? I put in my Fibonacci as I use inverse, inverse Fibonacci. If you are using direct Fibonacci, it will be your uh, 79 pips, uh, 79 level. So with this, I draw this out. Now the market came into this level. Now this will be your entry. So this will be your entry. The entry will be about eight pips stop loss. Okay. Now, if you look closely, this same analysis I gave here is also available on this lower time frame. So I, I have the same thing, guys. The same thing. Li liquidity level was removed there with a sign. I also have my what? Uh, sign of trust, self trust, rather. I have my what? Um, sign trust, and I have sign of, of strength, and sign of strength brought it down to spring. Always respect your spring. Okay, now I also have another push up from the spring and I draw it down again, the same thing. Can you see that guys? So invariably this will now be your, your, your five pips, three pips stop loss entry. So this gave us five pips entry. So either you are, you are in on eight pips entry or you are in on five pips entry, anyone is good for you. But I went in on this 8670. Uh, 80, that, that, that was my own entry. So because I entered on four hours, guys, this is now the, the, the juice. This is now the juice as an investor. You can see that the trade is still running as an investor. As an investor, you can see that the trade is still running. Okay, so as an investor, let's go to 30 minutes. We can see clearly. So as an investor from one minute, I've been able to pick up a trade that is currently running over 151 pips. So as an investor, you, you are risking five to make one, to make 26, to make 151 rather, which is about one to 26 risk reward. Sorry, one to 28 risk reward. So basically, this is how to kill the market, squeeze the market. You're going in with a very smart entry and you're good to go. So right now I'm still on this trade. This is this is uh, GBP NZD. See, I went in at 86.77, uh, 75 or 73. That's why I went in. And currently the trade is above 88.24, you see, and it's a real account because some people doubting Thomas will say, oh, maybe it's demo account. So, you know, I don't really show my account balance. It's not, it has a bit personal, but just to let you know that it's possible, okay? Just to let you know that is what is possible. So right now the trade is running. I'm still in profit. I've locked my profit. And uh, where will I come up? Because of it is weekly time frame that is in control, I will come out at a weekly supply. Okay, this is my first take profit of my weekly supply. So that means I will be expecting the trade to deliver about 320 pips. My first take profit and my second take profit will be here. The next order block on weekly. Okay. Next order block on weekly. Does that mean you will you, you should leave it? No, now you can you can partial close. You can partial close. So I would like to exit my trade here. So when I come out of this trade here, there could be an opportunity to sell, or I leave it. Okay, so I'm still on on this trade, and that is how you can 
risk small money to make big money. And that's how you can compound your money. You can compound your account every single week. So you need to calm down, understand how this trade works, is make sure you are answering yourself from your top-down analysis, what level is in control if you're trading the institution way and navigate your trade down to one minute. I pick trades on one minute and on three minutes, no rest, okay? So that I can get a very small risk reward and I can enjoy the trade and we are good to go. So that is my analysis on, um, on GBP NZD. I'm expecting Europe and USD this week, and I'm expecting some other pairs this week to really, really push out the profit that we're looking out for, okay? Uh, like I put on the description, I want to talk to you guys about Bitcoin because um, some of my protégés were already asking what's my view, what's my take on Bitcoin. Now, my take on Bitcoin, you know, like I gave you guys this entry in March in 2020. March 2020. This was the entry I gave March 2020. This was the entry. I gave the entry March 2000 and that. This was the entry around 4,000. Okay. 4,000. So if you are still in it, uh, one of the students, one of my friends that took the trade back then, she sent me a screenshot. He said, Your prediction is coming to pass. Bitcoin 4,000, okay, Bitcoin 4,000 and boom to 23,000, okay, in five years, okay. I said, I'm just trying my best. How are you doing? I said, it's well, well. She said, just waiting to use jumbo lot size on this guy. And I said, wow, that's amazing. I said, I'm telling you. So she got in on at that 4,000 level and uh, I'm sure she made good profit in it. And um, I was expecting it to do $23,000 in in five years, but it did $23,000 in just, in just eight months. So right now that the institutions, the big boys are putting in their money, uh, you want to be smart. What will they be doing right now? They want to shake the market so that the market will drop and they can get the best price. So if you bought less than 30,000, you bought less than 18,000, 20,000, no shaking. I've told you guys, Bitcoin, the best way to trade Bitcoin is long term. Hold it for three years, hold it for five years. The same way you buy a property and you would not, you can't make good profits except to wait for three, five years. Treat Bitcoin like that. However, the projection when it comes to Bitcoin is crazy. If you had bought Bitcoin $100 in 2010, by now you will be having over $30 million in your account. In 10 years ago. So right now, what you want to do when the why the market is pulling back is to look for the institution level where the big boys are waiting for the market to come to. So uh, no, I'm not a financial market. I'm a trader. I'm just I'm an investor like you. No recommend. So this is not a signal, uh, a form of signal to be. Let me be free so that some of you will say signal. I'm not giving signal. It's just for education purpose. If you've been following me on YouTube, it's for education purpose. So right now, we we the market got to 40, uh, 42 and started pulling back. So right now, you need to wait for... My best place is 20, okay? 20 or it comes down to 10. Some people won't believe that it can come down to 12. Uh, 12, okay? Yes, my best best is around 11,000. That's my best bet, okay? <laughs> Great. Why did I say so? I won't like to go into all of those details, but we can see that there's an other block that produced this other block, and this other block produced this other block. This other block has not produced any other other block. So there's a potential exposure that this market could do a retracement back to this level, so that people who did not catch into the move can catch into the move. Now, if it doesn't do that on monthly time frame, it could do that on weekly. So I, you could go in on, I'll be looking at 19,000, okay? If I don't go in on 19,000, the next other block that is available here, uh, I think it's just 19,000. So good, good. So the best place for you and I is where? 
11,000. We might not get 4,000 again, okay? We might not get 4,000 again. So good. So we expect a lot of pullback, a drop in Bitcoin so that a lot of people will run out. Whoa, I lost money trading Bitcoin. I this and this. Great. It will happen. But if you are negative, just save your password, ignore trading, and you can keep adding up, okay? There's, this, there's a guide I give to the people in our community. Just keep loading. Every month, keep loading for the next five years. And after five years, <laughs> let's talk about uh, you sending me your gifts, either a car, either a house in Banana Island. You know, but basically, you want to be careful at the at the level you it is right now. It's currently at thirty one thousand dollars. I will personally wait for it to get to nineteen. That is my choice of area. But does that mean I won't buy? I can keep buying low, low, uh, lows. Keep buying low. Keep buying low because if you go with the institution level, which is which is eleven thousand and nineteen thousand. Those are the areas of choice that we can load up and we're going to be enjoying together. Okay, so if you're an intraday trader, we can still go in at this other block on four hours, but I don't feel this four hours other block as the same. Don't forget the big boys are already in it. It's already for, I have 14 years, 10 to 14 years, first level of adoption has gone. 34 years of invest, in, um, the next 34 years of span of institution is now in vogue. So you see banks, JP Morgan saying they, they are pumping in hundreds of millions, hundreds of millions into it. You see individuals moving their balance sheet into Bitcoin. So it is, we are in the era of institution and the era of institution is always very, very long, okay? The same way US 30, when it first started, you know, they like to play with people's emotion so that those who are not ready to succeed or those who are shaky in um, their investment level, uh, their risk level, they will just keep emptying their portfolio, okay? The same thing happened to what? To US 30, okay? When the likes of Warren Buffett bought in 1980s, okay? In 2000 and what, 2015, US 30 was around $16,000, okay? Now, the, that, that's the other block that was that produced that. Now, a lot of people had issues with it. They were not happy, okay? Because in, two, 19, in the 1980s, it was less than $500. People bought, people, you know, the likes of Warren Buffett. That is why he's still very, very successful because he invested into financial market. So in 2015, US debt was around $14,000. So, which is where a lot of investors pumped in. Now, watch again. Now, this is the next institutional level. And the banks, the movers, the shakers, they needed to go in at the right spot. So, what did they do? In 2020, 2019 December, they dropped the price. So, when they dropped the price, they dropped the price from where? From 28 to 18,000, which is more than half the price. So that shook the market. And immediately they shook the market with that. And it just happened in just three months. They were bullish, bearish in US 30 for three months. And immediately they were bearish in US 30 for three months, guys. They pumping their money at 18,500. And in 18,500 currently, the price is at where? Is at $13,000. $31,000. So you can see how they play with people's emotion. Okay? So if you really know that you cannot hold Bitcoin for long, you either you sell off. But they, see, guys, the money is in the risk. <laughs> the money is in the risk. Okay? Keep your money, save your drive, enjoy your trading, and that will be it for now. So guys, stay tuned for more um, analysis in the course of the week. And if you're not subscribing to my YouTube channel, go to my YouTube channel, watch the videos to understand how best you can navigate the market and you're good to go. And you want to access my mentorship 
feel free to chat me up. We have a community that is growing very, very fast and lives are changing. People are growing. People are multiplying their money and they're good to go. One more time, my name remains Mayowa Wolabi. Um, I'm a serial entrepreneur and an investment invest um, and an investor in the financial market. I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Stay tuned. Have a blessed week. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Peace out.